everyone, today I'll be showing you how to add shaders to the Pixelmon mod pack. The first thing we'll need to do is download both Optifine and the shaders. Now, both of these links will be in the description, so Optifine, you want to be on optifine.net forward slash downloads. It should look like this. Now, we're not on this version of Minecraft, so what we want to do is click show all, all, all versions, sorry, and then you want to scroll down until we find version 1.12.2, and then we simply want to click download. This will take us to this other ad page and what you want to do is look in the top right corner and wait for the five seconds to pass and we should get a skip button. Yep, we can click the skip button and then we're sent back here and we can simply click download. So we want to make sure that we have the latest version of Obdefine for the right version of Minecraft. For this mod pack, it is 1.12.2. Then we want to download our shaders. So I'm going to be using the Silder shaders. Um, from shadersmods.com. A link will be in the description below. Uh, this supports our version of Minecraft, so you always want to double check that if you're trying out different shaders. Then we want to scroll down until we find the download links, which are about here. Now, if you have a weak PC, you might want to go for the light download or the medium or even the high. Uh, we're going to go for the extreme just to show you that it works. So we'll click this. It'll open up this page here. You want to click this download button. Sometimes there'll be other download buttons on the screen, so make sure that it's this big blue button right here that says download and the size of the file. You'll click this and it should start downloading and you're good to go. Next, you want to head back into CurseForge, click on the Pixelmon mod pack, then click on these three little dots just to the left of the play button and then click on open folder. Once this opens, it should look something like this and what we want to do is open up the mods folder and then copy in our Optifine. So we've got our downloads here, our Optifine for the right version. We're going to right click this, click copy, go back into this mods folder, right click and click paste. And then just double check that, yep, the Optifine's in the folder and it's the right version. We should be good to go. From here, you can close this folder because we actually have to launch the game in order to put in our shaders. So we're back on CurseForge. Now we click play and we wait for it to load. Once it loads, it should look something like this. The menu was a little bit weird, so make sure that you can access it. But what we want to do is click on Options, go into Video Settings, and now you should have all these extra options here. This means that Optifine was installed correctly. If you don't see the Shaders option, it means something went wrong with installing Optifine. You might want to rewatch that part of the video. So we're going to click on Shaders. Then in this bottom left part, we want to click Shaders folder. This will open up this folder here, and then we simply paste in our shaders that we downloaded. So we've got the shaders here. I'm going to right-click it. Click copy, go back into this shaders pack and click paste and it should be there. And if we move this aside, we can see it's in the game now. So now I'm going to click on this and then as you can see, none of these buttons are responsive. I'm not clicking. Make sure you don't click because it will be very likely that it will crash if you start clicking. It will become non-responsive. But here we go. Now it's working. You see it's uh, highlighted. Now, this could take a lot longer for you. Normally it takes longer for me. Sometimes the game even crashes. If the game does crash, don't worry. Just launch the game up again, and the shaders should be already selected when you reload the game. So, so after it crashes, reload the game up, check the shaders option, and it should be highlighted, which means you should be good to go. You can hop into single player and try it out. So I'm going to click done, click done, close out all of this, head into single player. We're going to have to make a new world. We might as well make it creative and create it. And here we are. We've loaded in. We've got the cool intro. I'm going to click my Bulbasaur. We'll begin the adventure. And as you can see, already... That doesn't look very uh, normal to me. It looks like we have shaders. So as you can see, we have beautiful shaders. Let me try and run over by some water. You can see, look, we're in the mod. We've got the mod pack. We have the apricorn. We have the mini map. Look at this. Oh, this is a very nice design. Damn, look at this world. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. But yeah, as you can see, the shaders are installed. If you have any questions, please do let me know in the comments below. I'll wrap this episode up quickly. If it worked for you, please do consider subscribing. It helps me out quite a lot on the channel. Uh, and yeah, let me know in the comments any issues. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.